The American Heart Association's Basic Life Support for Healthcare Providers Online Part 1 course provides the cognitive portion, or Part 1, of this blended learning course for receiving your healthcare provider completion card. BLS Healthcare Provider Online Part 1 includes a series of online modules covering the required adult, child, and infant CPR sequences. There is also a section at the end that covers special considerations. The course provides a flexible design, accommodating a range of learning from basic checkpoint review to more extensive learning through optional sections. There are 10 checkpoints marked with a red box that must be completed before you can move on to the hands-on skills practice and testing with an American Heart Association instructor. An introductory checkpoint helps you customize your learning experience to get the most out of the course. You may proceed in any sequence you choose. Each finished exercise will be saved automatically when you log off and marked as complete on the course homepage so that you can track your progress. Throughout the course, case-based scenarios provide practice relevance. For instance, let's look at the checkpoint for adult rescue breathing. After reading the scenario, you will be asked a series of questions. If you answer correctly, you may continue through the CPR sequence. If you answer incorrectly, you can go back to review the section for clarification. In addition to the basic checkpoint reviews, there are also 21 optional review exercises and 17 optional videos that provide more extensive learning. This course covers all of the content provided in the traditional classroom-based course, providing another option for learning these important skills. It will take approximately 90 minutes to complete this online cognitive part of the course. You do not need to complete the course all in one sitting. Use the Click Here to Log Out button when you wish to end your session. Then simply log back in using the email address and the password you chose when you registered. When you have completed all the required exercises, you are ready to take the online test. You must achieve the required 84% for a passing score. If you do not receive a passing score, you may retake a different version of the test one additional time. Once you have successfully completed the test, you will be asked to complete a course evaluation. Then you can access and print out the Part 1 Certificate of Completion. Present the certificate to an authorized American Heart Association BLS instructor for Part 2, the Hands-On Skills Practice Session, and Part 3, the Skills Test. After successfully completing the Skills Test, you will receive a BLS for Healthcare Providers Course Completion Card.